Good morning. I'm reading from the book of Psalm 139 and verse number 13, the TPT version. You formed my innermost being, shaping my delicate inside and my intricate outside, and wove them all together in my mother's womb. God is your maker. He had a shape of who you should be before you were formed. So there's a shape of your personality that was created by God. This scripture says it was a shaping with delicate inside and intricate outside. So the reflection of the shape of who you are in the inside is what God expects you to discover and become on the outside, woven together. Yesterday, we, in acrostic, put together the word shape. And then we saw that the first word uh, on your shape is your spiritual gift. So you are gifted. You are not just anybody. It's a spiritual gift that you have. And we spoke about that yesterday. Today, the second thing uh, that determines your shape is your heart. You know, your heart. God gave you a heart. And your heart is a combination of desire. Born do of desire. Every human being have desires. That's why you have the kind of food you want to eat. That's why you have the kind of places you want to go. That's why, why somebody want to wear white and another person want to wear black. All of us were created with cravings, the kind of what you want to become. And that in itself is the second panel of her shape. So you can be a doctor if you never want to be in the hospital. You know, for you to be a good doctor, you must have a craving for medicine. Exactly. So there are combinations of bundles of desire that makes who you are. Number one among them is your hopes. The more of hope, what do you hope to be tomorrow? Check out what kind of what you are hoping for. Is your shape that actually produces your hope. Hope. I'd like to read one scripture for you in Psalm 21, verse number 2. He said, Thou hast given him his heart desires, and has not withhold the request of his lips. There is something you have as a heart desire, as a hope inside of you. Something you want to become. Something you want your family to be like. What you want to be in the next one year, in the next two years. They are actually your shape. You shouldn't play with your hope. You shouldn't trivialize your hope. Don't call it a dreamy. They are your shape. Number two, your interest. Find out what you're always interested about. If you go to a movie, what kind of movie do you want to watch? If, what kind of football, what kind of game do you want to play? You don't play with every of these desires or interests inside of you because they are your shape. That's what your heart goes for. If you are with a remote control, what kind of station do you want to go? Check your children when they are seated and find out when they, when they have the remote control, what kind of station do they go to? That tells you what they're craving for. Their interest is very important. It's in their shape. Number three, your ambitions. People are painted ambition as if ambition is demonic. No, it's not devilish. It's God-giving. What is your ambition? There are ambitions that may not be as good, but most of the time, you can bring the best out of the world's ambition. If somebody has an ambition for something, it is in the area of the purpose of the person. And then the next one is your dream. What are you dreaming about? What do you want to become? Your dream is also a combination of your desire. And then the last one is your affection. You know, the kind of affection you have in what you love to do, what you care about most in your life. All this talks about your heart. Tomorrow we'll go and talk about ability as part of your God-given shape. Hallelujah. The desire of your heart will be granted unto you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.